The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sewer lair is full of special features and is the perfect place for all your Ninja Turtles. It's easy and fun to assemble, so get your shell on and let's begin. First, lay out all the parts and compare them to the instruction sheet. Most of the major components have numbers on the pieces that correspond to the written instructions. To start off, let's put on all of these cool graphics. Refer to the numbers on the label sheet and place all of the labels onto their corresponding positions on all of the plastic pieces. These locations are numbered on the instruction sheet. Now we're ready for pieces 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Piece 1 and 2 snap together. Part 3 slides into the slots on piece 2. Piece 5 attaches to the bottom of piece 2 by snapping in place. Piece 4 faces forward like this, so it snaps onto piece 5 like this. We'll snap this platform, piece 35, right here. Place piece 6 with the wide side up and snap into place right here on the face of the wall. Snap piece 7 and 7A together. Notice how the pin goes just like that. Next, snap the platform, this gray piece, part 7C, into the lower part of the pipe assembly. While we're at it, let's put part 7D right here. Next, turn this pipe assembly around and snap piece 7B right here. Make sure the arms of the pipe are positioned like this. Now we'll connect this to the main assembly by snapping it here at the bottom and then snap it together like this with the holes on the back wall. Next, put piece 8 in place, right here, flat part down. Be sure to press firmly to snap these in. Part 9A snaps into the back of the large pipe like so. Again, note the pin assures it goes together the right way. Now we're ready to attach this assembly onto the right side of the layer, where it snaps into place here on the bottom and here at the top. Then, piece 9B snaps onto the front part of part 9, right here. Part 10 is the main periscope assembly. Note that the periscope handles are at the bottom. 10E is the smallest one of the three platforms and snaps in here nearest the bottom with the detail facing up. 10C, the next largest, snaps in right above it. The largest platform goes here at the top. Next, we'll snap in the ladder staircases, pieces 10D and 10B onto the platforms. Then we'll snap this entire assembly into place like this, right in the middle of the lair. And now, we're ready for the large upper platform, piece 12. It slides over the periscope pole and snaps onto the top of the back wall. There are receiving slots on the bottom of this large upper platform to snap the sewer pipes into place, which makes for a sturdy lair. Snap in piece 11 right here onto the top platform. Let's put in the street lamp, piece 15. It snaps into the street level platform on the right and onto the wall behind it, like so. Here's the telephone pole, part 13. First snap on the transformer, piece 14, that holds the hidden spring-loaded power line launcher. Attach the platform, piece 14B, onto it like so. The telephone pole goes onto the top street level platform. It snaps in at the bottom base and also the back wall. The sewer lid ladder piece, 16, snaps in right here on the underside of the street level platform. The latch here holds and releases it for easy access in and out of the sewer. The dumpster, piece 18, snaps into these slots on the top street level platform. Now we can complete the periscope with piece 19 by opening up the left lid of the dumpster and snapping the piece on the top of the periscope pipe. Be sure to hold the periscope firmly from below while you do so. Snap the ooze barrel, piece 17, here on the left edge of the street level platform. Then let's place the fire escape, piece 20, by snapping it in right here at the top. It even has a fold up ladder. Part 14A is a projectile that you load the launcher with like this and fire by pressing here. Piece 29 snaps in here on the left side. Piece 30 goes here on the right. For this one, you'll want to line up the four tabs and push it in like this. Here's piece 31, which is a fake out trap floor. You'll find it's easiest to insert the pin on the right first and then snap the pin in on the other side. 
Snap the Funnel Part 24B on the Ooze Funnel Pipe Part 24. Then snap on these two pipe clamps, pieces 24A, into the back wall. Now, snap the ooze funnel pipe here, placing it directly under the ooze barrel. Donnie's computer lab, piece 21, which snaps here at the left of the lower level of piece 4. Next, we position the arch, piece 22, which goes with the detail side facing the back, right here. And now, we'll snap the platform we put in earlier, 7D, right here, hooking it into the slot at the top of the arch. See how that swings open to reveal his hidden lab? Way cool. Now we'll attach the tire swing using the hook anywhere you'd like it. Looking at the back side of the lair, piece 26, the working elevator, snaps here. The turtles can take this up to street level for a slice of pizza. And the flip kicking ladder, piece 23, snaps in right here. The other ladder, piece 27, goes here on the side. The secret sewer gate, piece 25, goes here. Slide the right pin in first, then snap in the other. Splinter's Dojo Shoji panels, pieces 28, fit in the tracks right here. Just tip in the tops first, and then put them on the track here at the bottom, and slide away. This piece, 33A, goes right here at the bottom. Now, let's hang the background panels. We'll hang the large one, piece 32, starting here at the top. Just hang it on the tabs in the back of the telephone pole, and then align it with these tabs here. We'll use these little locks, pieces 34, to hold the backing in place. This is the last background panel, piece 33. It goes here on the side. Align with these tabs and then slide on the little locks. That's it, the turtle secret sewer layer is complete. Now let's set up the zip line feature by snapping in the figure release lever, part 39A, to the launcher. Clamp the launcher to any nearby object and attach the other end of the zip line to the lair. Now you're ready for action. That's turtle power.